sleep, you know, keep a close eye on it, you know, and uh, from the time you get up to the time you go to bed, so that's where my job comes in. Well, well, after the rumors of uh, Canelo and uh, Crawford, you know, for September, I mean, have, have you heard any of that stuff? I, you know, Terrence was tweeted about it, it's the biggest fight of boxing. Have you heard anything? Never heard nothing. What do you say to those that uh, automatically disqualified Terrence Crawford because of the, the mismatch that was versus Jermel Charlo? Uh, I don't know. Hey, Terrence, go get in there and do what he needs to do. Perform. Most of it, Conor Ben just started to explain now. What did you make this performance? Uh, I think he looked like trash. I didn't even watch the fight. I just like uh, heard you know some of the coaches were watching him. I was, I was basically driving, and they were just saying like uh, he looked like trash. And uh, I know Pistol beat. I know Pete real well, so uh, he, he gave him a pretty tough fight. And uh, so I, I don't think much of him. I, I really don't know. I really don't know of him. I just hear his name. You know. He's been saying he wants to tank next, but so Tank basically said he'll agree to that fight. Uh, what do you think of that fight? Tank would have to go up a couple of weight for. Uh, well, well, why would he go down there and pick those guys at 35 and 40? Why would he mess with those guys at 54, 47 and 54? Mess with those guys. Call those guys up. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to, you know, fight somebody, go up there and fight the ones that the, the best, the 54 pounder, the 47 pounder. Coach, you've seen fighters step over the threshold to greatness. Uh, tell us what that kind of looks like and where Keyshawn is in that process. Uh, Keyshawn is close. He's real close. I wanted to get a hold of a few titles, win a few uh, uh, divisions. You know, let his body grow. Let him grow. He's only 20, 25 years old. Let him grow. And uh, seven, eight years from now, hey, we could be missing his name as one of the greatest that ever laced up the world. It's a process that you got to go through in order to be called that. And I'm, I'm glad that he's now starting his process, just like Terrence. You know what I'm saying? Just like uh, uh, Canelo. You know, just like those guys. They had a process to start. He just now started his way. He's damn sure we'll get there. Coach, Keyshawn last time I got here all by the kind of punch against the event was that a focus in camp that he worked on? Well, I ain't gonna ever tell you what, this, what we were doing in camp. Y'all just said we were working hard, and then you just have to see. You never get when you your game plan when, when we talk to the court. Okay, I got you. Uh, as far as uh, Sean, he said he wanted to fight now, but that day, uh, what do you think about that fight now? Uh, say what? He wanted to fight for uh, Navarrete, the Mexican Vaquero. What do you think about that fight? He'll stop him. He'll stop him in six. He'll yeah. stop him, yeah. I've been, I've been telling Keyshawn we should have went down at 30 to yeah, jump on him and come back up and jump on some drivers. Keyshawn could make 130? Yeah, fuck yeah. I, uh, I don't know if you saw, I spoke to Snoop Dogg last week and we talked to him about, you know, Crawford and uh, Canelo and he said, you know, I got Bud, Bud's the one. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, what do you think about that? that? Everybody, all, all, everybody that uh, believes in hard, hard for boxing fans, they uh, they know Carl can beat Canelo just like that. They know Bud was going to be Smith. It's real simple. Real simple. We just got to know boxing in order for you to be able to say it. Oh, so the Smith Crawford saga over with now. Are we What's your thing of uh, Boots against Bud? Is that a fight interested? No, he don't bring none to the table. He got our leftovers. What, why would we want to go backwards? Why would we want to go backwards? Bud looking for bigger, better fights. So where he can, he can catch his name in the concrete forever. Please welcome well, to the What's your core uh, retiring on Twitter? What do you think about that? I mean, just a little bit frustrated right now, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you take a little time off, then you might be able to come back. That's just my opinion. I don't, I don't have to talk to him. So that's just my opinion. So don't go out there and say both said this and both said that. This is both opinion. Go back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you were to the table, do you not think you're the best one for the world of Parker's parents? Say again? You say that Drew Hyatt and Jonathan Hayes are to the table. But don't you think you're the best one for the world of Parker and Bud? I don't know, because I really don't look at none of the welcome weight since we just cleared the division out. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, boo. That, that was a damn good answer, wasn't it? That was a good answer, wasn't it? What up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And 
Obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.